I know I haven't had any videos lately. A lot of you have been asking me why. Um, the answer is that the truck's actually been done for upgrades. I had a small issue where there was kind of a, a fire in the truck, if you will. Uh, messed up some amps, so got some new amps going in there. Uh, I haven't been able to drive the truck in like eight or nine weeks now because actually all the step-down modules that I have actually blew up. I have three hooked up right there and I have another spare two in my shed which are toast. So I actually ordered an alternator bracket for the truck from uh, TEJ Current. I, it was a triple alternator bracket and it was I believe about $350, $380 and after four weeks of going back and forth I figured out that he scammed me for the money. So I talked to Matt Matheson uh, a lot of you might know him as Rival904, has a yellow F-150 on the forums. Uh, he uses a lot of DD stuff. I think he's running like 618s now. Um, he got me in touch with DC Power. Uh, he worked out a deal with me. I got a little bit of a discount on it for a quad alternator bracket. So I'm actually shooting this video at night after everything's already on. But I'll probably cut this part out and show you from the beginning to the end. But uh, I'll try to be making more videos now and let everybody know what's going on. But at this point, I do anticipate the car being on the road again probably in the next week. So I should have more bass videos up for you guys. I have, like I said before, new bass amps in there. That's going to be a surprise for everybody. Uh, Crossfires are still doing great. The XS V2s definitely love those subs. Haven't had any issues at all. Uh, Crossfire, excellent customer support. I have many other plans going on with the truck, but... Uh, Definitely subscribe and keep in touch. All right, today we are going to be installing a quad alternator bracket. As you can see, I already took the two alternators out that are in there. Just got uh, all the wires just chilling right now. Got this double alternator bracket that's about to come out. Right now that the bracket is out, we can take a look at this DC power quad alternator bracket made to fit the Hummer so hopefully that does fit all right I called DC power and they told me that in order to install the bracket I actually have to move the car's computer which is right here now, I've already taken the battery out which is right there and I've taken the cover off the ECU right now what I'm doing is I'm taking the basket that holds the battery off so I can access the bolts that hold the ECU on once I do that, I can freely move the ECU about a couple inches over where it needs to be. All right, now we've got the basket unbolted, so we'll expose all kinds of stuff that's under here. Let's just move this right here for now. All right, uh, dead dragonfly, that's definitely uh, no good. But uh, now we can work on taking the ECU off. After numerous phone calls with DC Power, Consulting with all kinds of people, uh, I kind of finally figure out where this thing needs to go. Um, it's not a normal GM vehicle, it is a Hummer, so with a normal GM vehicle, it would have actually just slid forward and gone next to the radiator. Um, what had to happen is the computer actually had to move down there. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to work on securing it, but uh, as you can see right here, I thought this pipe for the radiator fluid, this tube was actually going to be in the way. But uh, as you can see, it actually spins freely. Uh, it's going to clear. Um, alternators are going to go over here, here, down here, and um, everything should work okay. Um, my only concern really at this point is just the obviously the computer over there. but. Um, I will figure that out tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I'll have more videos to come. I know my alternators are in the mail right now, so I'll have another video of when those are in. 